final Northland Coliseum. The referee tonight, 19-year veteran, but working the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time, Dennis Burrell. The linesman, Ron Finn, working in a Stanley Cup Final a ninth time. And the other linesman, Ray Scampanello, hit seventh year in the Stanley Cup Finals and the linesman. Andy Moe, who's played in only four playoff games this year with the Bruins. Reggie Lemelin has been the big noise there, but he's been elected to be the starter tonight against his own Oilers teammate. And in the other end, Mr. Grant Stewart, 15th game of the playoffs this year, and just having another superb playoff of 3.00 goals against average. Dave Hodge has already told you about the only key injury, Charlie Huddy, the Edmonton defenseman still out with that Charlie Horse suffered against Detroit. They tell me, John, he might be ready by game three of the series. He's still limping a little bit, Dan, but he certainly would like to be back. Edmonton was ready to commit the youth party as the forward and the defenseman here, and Jeff Bukaboom will be their fifth defenseman. So look for both teams to use four defensemen primarily as Boston is dressed by five with an extra forward being Jay Miller. Boston starting forward line, Craig Janney, Cam Neely, and Bob Joyce. Four conclusive act on defense. It's Messier, Simpson, and Anderson up front, Muni and Lowe on defense. And here we go with the 1988 Stanley Cup final. This is Kevin Lowe, number four for the Oilers, back of his own goal. He gives it off to Anderson. Anderson got away from Neely, now dumps it in. Moe sets it up for Kluzak. Kluzak against some poor checking. Now Anderson a long shot. Moe to save on that board, trying to clear it. Messier into poor check him. Into the other corner for Kluzak. Rex Simpson. Getting into the center ice. Rex Jenny knocking on the board. Back to Anderson for Edmonton. Anderson moves in for the last minute. And Kevin Lowe has to circle back. Six attackers on the ice. Leaves it for Gretzky on the delayed penalty. Ahead to Yerry Curry. And as Curry flipped it up on the boards, he flipped it over the glass into the crowd. And now the first penalty of this series in this game to Cam Neely of the Bruins. Very undisciplined penalty way back behind the play goes to Cam Neely. One thing about the Edmonton Oilers, Dan, they have been disciplined throughout the playoffs. There's Neely trying to interfere with Anderson and keep him in the zone. So perhaps an offside would develop. Neely gets shot by Dennis Morrell. So Edmonton goes on the power play. They were rated seventh during the regular season. Their percentage is up five percent in the playoffs on the power play. There's Glenn Sather, who has been the head coach since Edmonton joined the National Hockey League in 79-80. The most seniority of any coach in the National Hockey League. Of course, he's co-coached along with John Muckler, and they have Ted Green upstairs. Of course, Sather and Green at one time played for the Boston Bruins, so they know about the Boston Heritage. By the way, the owners of the power play, 24 goals in the playoffs, 26.1% in the playoffs so far. They have 50 in. Deacon and Gretzky up front. Steve Smith and Yerry Curry will be the point men. Linsman and Middleton will be the penalty killers for the Bruins. Edmonton using Curry here to line up on left defense. Smith over on the opposite side. They flip-flop those two throughout the Detroit series to try and get some open room for Curry so he can use that big shot in the one motion from the blue line. Glenn Wesley is one of the defensemen. Michael Kelvin, the other for Boston. This is Kelvin back together. He wraps it off the board. And down the ice. Boston Dan has just given up 16 power play goals again. 100 times short. That's a terrific percentage at 84 percent. they have on their power play in Boston certainly knowing that and feeding off of it look at the challenge Edmonton beat not allowing Edmonton to come out of the unit Burridge and Casper for 
They're both in there deep. Back comes Curry. Into the zone. Bork breaks it up. Couldn't clear it. But take it now. And now another penalty coming up. That's one against Edmonton. A holding call against Edmonton. Deacon. And the whole thing started, Dan, deep in the Edmonton zone. Edmonton having trouble getting out, perhaps getting frustrated. Once they got into the Boston zone, a lot of traffic developed. Look at all the players there. There's six players in one area. Deacon had grabbed a hold of the stick. And down went the players, so they play at even strength now. And when you look at this situation, Gretzky's on the ice with Glenn Anderson. I'm sure he's going to try and feed Anderson. He'll have the speed, and there should be some open ice. Boston going with just four defensemen to this point. They have five dressed. Peterson has not had a shift. And before the rule change, this is what Edmonton used to expect. Four against four. Shoots it in. Kevin Lowe back for Edmonton. Sweeney up the four check. Now Bluzak holding it in. Bluzak to Bork. Shooting. And that's high off the glass. Casper couldn't knock it down. Bluzak flips it in. Gets it to Sweeney, number 42. Bob Sweeney now to Steve Casper. He's ridden out on the far side by Craig Muni. And Anderson works it to Gretzky. Back to Anderson. Three on two break. Lowe joins the run. Gretzky with Anderson. Controlled by Sweeney, and the best scoring chance so far right there. And Andy Moog played the angle perfectly. He played the puck. He didn't worry about the body of Kevin Lowe. And Lowe saw an opening on the close side, and Moog just simply took it away. Bob Joyce, the outstanding Bruin rookie, shot it in. They were 11 for 37 and a 29.7%. So their power play has been improving, particularly after a very bad regular season. Here's Messier for the Oilers, 37. Left and Deacon in penalty. Messier checked by Neely. Messier back to get it. Neely got a piece of him. Now knocked in behind the end of the order. Randy Craig fires it out of there. Down the ice. Wesley for the Bruins. itself they ended up with six skaters along with the goaltender on the ice and Boston now on this power play Dan get Bork and Kluzak their number one and two defensemen on the power play on the ice their other power play the shortened one earlier they had their number three and four defensemen on the ice Edmonton will crowd Bork because they respect Bork's ability of himself get, getting the shots away very quickly so they're going to crowd him in that Edmonton zone Bork to Kluzak Boston with the man advantage it's jumped in Linsman and Lowe race in after it. Lowe comes up with it. Clears it around in the boards. Kluzak pinching in. Flips it back to the net, and Kevin Lowe is there for Edmonton. And is able to clear the zone. Bork has it, giving it to Kluzak. Kluzak, Dick Handling. He dumps it in. Frank Muni chases back. Muni in to catch him, but Muni cleared it around, and here's Gretzky. Trying to break 
out, took a hit from Flute back there. Now Curry still put it to Bort, but Lawson originally got back to break it up. He Bort twice had trouble keeping the puck in the Edmonton zone. He's a left-handed shot, playing right defense. And sometimes when the puck comes along the board, it's difficult to keep in the other team's zone. Here's a pass to Cam Neely. Number eight, Neely, tied up by Steve Smith. Smith hammers Neely into the board. Neely bounces up, comes in front, backhander, six save, pure. Neely getting it to Craig Janney, number 23. Back to Neely, to Kelvin, wide with a flat jump. Now at the other point, held in by Boston. Janney back to the net, but it's Smith shooting it out of there, and the Cavs couldn't get it out. Joyce in there, but it's Craig. To Messier, now to McCap. 25 seconds, 14, Frank McTavish to Messier. That's broken up and back comes Neely. Has Janney with him. Neely, Bates, works in deep. Then centered, Bjorn broke it up. Kevin Lowe comes up with it. Hit the referee as he tried to clear it and now does clear the zone. With six seconds left in the penalty. Edmonton got caught on a two-on-one while they were shorthanded at Kevin Lowe. <laughs> Taking it back on, but Boston attack, Bork shooting right on, pad save, good. Lola LeMay and Muni battle in the corner. In comes another Bruin to help out, namely O'Fire. Now puck centered, but broken up and cleared out of there. Mike Keith Acton, and here's Gretzky. 